Well, last episode on Grizzly Mountain, I was with my John Deere 8970, which is right there. And we were up top, all the way up there. And I was trying to winch up this old 48 Chevy tanker in its trailer. And we were right up there and then everything came crashing down and eventually came here and then boom, they're right here. Now, they kind of floated to the top and I don't know how they did that kind of, but they're up here. And so I kind of found a new way to winch these up. Luckily, in my favor, Wood Meadow Farms released a new tow truck mod check this thing out and so i'm gonna get that and see if we can't bring this up because if you guys didn't see the last episode that's fine i'll explain it i'll explain i'll explain what's happening but there's a wrecker it's not that heavy but i think maybe it'll work a little bit i don't know how this is gonna work guys this is a little lighter than the tractor i was using so obviously this is probably just gonna go falling in too we'll see what we can do maybe it has some more weight to her or something but they released a wrecking pack which which should work. It'll be fun. It'll be interesting to see what happens. Um, yeah. So there's kind of this little driveway down here where it might work out really good to yank these out of the water. And basically the whole thing was a guy, an owner of a classic truck, truck business, RCC called, he ended up buying, he ended up buying Gerald Hemeyer's truck. This was his truck that he crashed in 1948, came down the side of the hill. National forest left it here for 67 years. And then they decided, we need some money. We need to put this up for auction. It's got some history, some historic value behind it. And so there was an auction. And a guy over in Clover Creek, owner of RCC, bought it. And he wants to repair this thing. And he hired me to take it out of this lake slash pond, this lake right here. So that's what I'm trying to do. Now, there's crazy mountains up here. Like, somehow I got to get this thing up here. I don't know how that's going to be done, but it's going to be gonna be fun it's gonna be interesting we may put another one in the water who knows another fish in the water but we're gonna head over here and buy the wrecker so i'm headed back with my ford f100 we're gonna go pick up that wrecker now i gotta say if you guys enjoy farming content consider going checking out squad farms stevie over there stevie is taking over the channel he's done amazing over there really realistic farming he's doing over there and it's like he's good he's one of the top players ever uh, i'll throw a link to squad farms channel down below um, or you can just go to YouTube and search Squad Farms. It'll come up. He's got some time lapses and some lots of plays over there. And then also, thank you to David. Or thank you to James. James helped me out a ton. He was trying to get me this wood splitter. Because there's this wood splitter mod out there. But I couldn't get in my mods folder. And then also, thank you to David. Because David is working on my 2017 F250. My truck in real life. That we're trying to get into, into the game. And I'm going to release it. Release it public. But... David makes some fantastic mods. He even made that tanker. Uh, he's in on pretty much every mod. I think he might have made this. David's made so many classic mods. I'm pretty sure David made this. I don't want to say it for sure, but I'm pretty sure David even made this truck. Okay, so here's the big, big bad Mac. It's, it's honestly, I don't know what year this Mac is, but it almost looks like the same age as that other Chevy that we're rescuing. So... Uh, what red might not look bad on this red is probably gonna look the best on this do I want to go red let's go red for the Mac red design color white black I'm assuming design color is what is design color oh okay so it's that <laughs> that's one way to tell just do a crazy weird color we'll stay black with that that'll work good now there's a winch and there's a tow hook I'm just gonna buy the tow hook and I think you just put it on the back there's already a tow hook there so I guess we should be fine if there's a I know there's already a tow hook on the truck so I'm assuming we're good. So we're going to fire up the Mac. Mayberry Heavy Rescue Recovery Specialist. That's right up my alley, but I don't know if we're going to be able to rescue this man. Oh, dude, the Mac sounds good. Oh, yeah, we got the flashing lights. Guys, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. It's going to be it's going to be tough. The interior on this truck's pretty cool. One thing is, uh, you guys can tell the steering wheel doesn't doesn't like turn at all. That's fine, though. I'm not complaining. Okay, so it also has a hundred, I was just thinking about this, it has a hundred meters of rope. The other winch we always had only had 50 meters of rope, dude. That is, <laughs> this is going to be crazy. hundred meters. That's probably like a football field. That's more than, a, more than a football field? Yeah, I think that's a little longer than a football field. Remember, hundred meter dash. That's probably a little longer than a football field. That's, that's a pretty long way. So, this will work actually really good. So, the thing is, is we're climbing, we're real close, but I have no idea how to get over there, actually. Like, I honestly have no idea how I'm going to get down to the area. I th okay, let's... I need an ATV or something to just kind of cruise through here and check her out. I should probably just get off my lazy butt and just walk it. 
tell. Maybe that's what we're going to do. But it's down this hill a ways. Like, I can't just go straight down this hill. Because that's where we are. Or that's where that stuff is. The the tractor and that, 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 uh... Okay, so it looks like there's a path. There's a pathway. See this pathway? This, like, sandy pathway on the top of my screen? That's where we need to go. That'll work good. Okay. Back this baby up. It's got the backup beepers. I like that. But this is an old truck, and so... Maybe it's like a really heavy truck and this will work good. I don't know though. And like, I didn't test this. I've never used this truck before. Who knows if this is going to work or not. Ah, can we take a little shortcut there and cut through there? I think we might be able to get through there. I'm going to try it. What happens if we get the wrecker stuck and we need pulled out by another wrecker? Okay. There we go. I got to start making my way downhill. And this is going to be... Man, I wish they made these trucks for kind of some more off-roading. Okay. Sorry about the... Here we go. Slow her down. Slow her down. Hit the brakes. Hit the brakes. Okay. We're good. That worked good. Okay, perfect. So this is where we need to go. Now, the question is, like, do you go down there? I'm ass Because, like, we're going to have to somehow get this thing up here. And that thing doesn't drive. That's been sitting in the water for 67 years. I don't know if this thing's going to drive. Oh, man. I think we got to stay up here. I think that's the best way. So I'm just going to back her up. There's kind of this little mound right here, too. Wow. Okay. So we're just going to back her up right there. That'll almost be a backstop to help me so it doesn't roll in. And then I'm going to winch it all the way up here. Maybe what I should do is I should disconnect that tanker, too. And then, yeah, I should disconnect that tanker and then get a different semi. And just, even if the wheels are all just jacked up on it and they're, like, don't even, all the wheels are gone... What I could do is I could just almost drag it up with another semi, which we have at the top of the hill. So I may have to do that. That way we get rid of some weight. Okay, so this is where I'm parking the truck. Okay, so I'm not going to turn it on yet. We got to go detach that winch. What the heck? Winch remaining rope. What is up with this? I think it's because there's two winches. Let me sell my other winch. Let me make sure just make sure all the winches are sold. See like this? I bet that's messing with it. Yeah, called it. Okay, here we go. So detach to here. Oh, she's detached, boy. Look at that. The tip is just barely hanging over the edge. This is going to get real interesting. I wish I had somebody kind of maybe to drive. Like that tractor, the tractor's gone too. Like I won't be able to drive the tractor, but I could maybe winch it up. So here we go. Let's see if this works. Oh my gosh, Wreck, are you ready? Um, okay, so turn it on. The B61 is on. Now start winching. I hit Z to winch, and I have a feeling my Wrecker is just... We might have to have a front hitch. If we had a front hitch, like I could, you know, I could connect uh, connect the front to like, w with a tow chain to the rear of something else. And we could just have a line of trucks just winching this thing up. Because I think the winch will handle it. I just don't know if the weight of the truck will handle it. Here we go. Oh my gosh, dude. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we're stopping. Is it doing anything? Should I detach? Okay, I'm going to try detaching this tanker. I have no idea what's going to happen to this tanker. Might go in the water. At least we get the truck. Okay, so here. Okay, there we go. We detached the tanker. So, a little less weight. Now, let's see if this thing will pull it. Come on. Oh my gosh, dude. Should I get down close to it? I don't really want to go down the hill, but darn it. I was really hoping this would work. Okay, so I released the rope a little bit. And now I'm going to start winching again. Come on. Come on. I'm even going forward, too. Okay, I got an idea. How about I put the back end of the truck around one of these trees up here. That way we literally can't go backwards. Ah, man, this is just like, you got to get it done somehow. This is what this has turned into. I could go down to this tree. I could, like, do something like that. Or there's a... Yeah, I think... So what I'm going to do is you can kind of release the rope a little bit. So I'm going to hit X. Release the rope. Now, it, it's going to probably go through the ground. That's really going to screw me up. But I'm going to keep going over here. I think we still have a little bit of rope. Hopefully we have it just a tad bit. And then get the back end behind this tree. <laughs> I think we're almost maxed out on rope. You can see it like really spinning. Okay. 
Dude, if this works, we're good. Okay, besides, it's literally going through the tree right now. It's fine. Okay, so here we go. I, the rope's going through the mountain. I know it's a little unrealistic, guys. We gotta get this in up, though. Okay, is there a rope? Yes, there's a rope. Okay. <laughs> here we go. Let's see if she'll do her. Okay, so Wrecker's on. We're going. Oh, no, dude. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so let's uh, let's check this out. Let's see if it moved at all. Ah, it's not moving. Oh, no, it's. I think it's kind of moving a little bit. Maybe. maybe. Okay, so I got to admit to this. Can't. There's no way to go around this. I lifted this up and moved it. I know, it's really unrealistic, but I literally grabbed the thing and moved it. So we kind of get it out of the way. Now let's see. Oh, look at it. It's already pulling, and I'm not even trying. I bet that truck is starting to come, to come down as we're as I'm speaking. Yep, it came down. So I think this is going to pull it. I think this is going to work. Okay, here we go. I'm still not going to take it away from the tree, but I think this is going to work. Oh, I wish I could see it. it. I think it's moving. Yeah, it's moving. You guys see it down there? It's so hard to see, but it is moving. Okay, let's go fast winch. There's a fast winch. Left, shift, Z. Oh, yeah, dude. It's moving. Look at it. We're winching this baby. Now, I wonder what happens if I take it away from the tree. I still think the truck would move backwards. Now, I'm going to try to winch this all the way up the hill, dude. I don't know if this can work. I'm going to stop for a sec. We're going to go take a look at her. Wow. This is actually working. Okay. I'm, I'm super happy about this. Look, that's where we got it. Okay, so let's winch it up this hill. And I'm going to haul this thing all the way back to the yard where we bought this truck at. Okay. Wow. I can't believe this worked. The Mac. Getting her done, man. I can't wait to see that, that truck come over the top of this hill. Okay, I have the slow winch on. Let's see if it's working. And I think I can winch with remote. Winch via a remote. So I'm going to stand here, and I'm just going to use my remote. There we go. Nice. It's a little slow, but it's always fun watching. I'm going to just stand down here if the remote reaches all the way. Okay, this is where it gets a little sketchy, though. I should probably be turning the wheels of the truck. I don't know if they're going to turn, but it's going. Okay, what's going to happen here? What is going to happen here? There is a ton of weight. Our truck's still doing it. Nice. It's kind of cool. You can actually see a bend in the rope. That's, that's, that's really neat. Still pulling. This is where it's going to get tough, though. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shift her into the gear. We're going to get the fast winch. Oh, look at that. The fast winch is so quick. Okay, we're bopping wheelies with our truck now. It's working though. See now, eventually the truck will go down. Yep. Uh, it'll start going down once it gets. Yep. Went down because it got easier. Oh my gosh. Okay, so uh, we're like really close. So I'm gonna actually release just a little bit of rope by hitting X. There we go. And we're just gonna pull around this, and then back up. This works really good actually. Okay, so. Now, I should be able to winch it up here. We're going to see if we can't get the back end. I don't know how this works. Can we get the back end, like, lifted in the air? Yes, we can. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, now we got to tow this thing back. There we go. I don't know how close you get it, but I'm going to get it really close. Come on. Keep going. There we go. Just maneuver up here. We go all the way? I don't know how close you go. Okay, okay, that's probably good. That's probably good. Oh, dude, we got to get out of here, though. Oh, it can barely even pull it. Nope, we're good. Guys, I don't know if we're going to get out of here. This weighs a ton. Okay, so I'm just going to go full throttle up here. Uh, it's going to take us a really long time. Maybe what I could do is get something down here, because look at this. There we go, there we go. It's going. I had so much momentum there. It started, like, just jumping it up and down. We got going. I'd like to get... There we go. If you just keep holding the throttle down here, I'm just going to hold cruise control at 51 mile an hour. <laughs> Come on, man. There we go. Nice. Solid. Okay, so I think it's going to be really tough to move this. The truck worked good. Don't get me wrong. 
truck worked really good for winching that up. But I don't know if we're going to be able to move that. So I think for now I'm going to drop it right there. Go grab the semi and then put it on the semi. That's good. We got it. I just got to figure out how to get down the side of this mountain too. Like I don't know how this is going to work out. So we are right here. Okay. So the last thing is I'd like to get my 8970 up. And as long as we can get a semi down here and we can attach to here, this will be fine. I can leave this here. That'll be good. But I'd love to winch my 8970 up here. You can see it's just stuck right there. Like I said, I don't know if this could, Do you think this tree will hold up? We could just back her up right to this tree and then start winching her. But I think the tree is just going to bend over right there. Okay, so we're going to uh, we're gonna try her. We're going to try her. Okay, so it should allow me to disconnect this. Perfect. That drops right there. And then now what I want to do is I need to grab the hook off this truck and then put it on the other truck. Or put it on the 8970. Okay, now this is really sketchy because this is my last hook. So, hmm. Okay, I think it's going to stay there. No! <sighs> well, we're picking up another hook. I got it back on here. I learned my lesson. Don't trust it. Like, I pushed the hook into the, like, frame of that. And it, like, stopped. So I was like, there's no way it's going through the frame. Then I set it there and then it goes sliding down. That was a horrible idea on my fault. But at least... So I decided not to take the F100. But this 19... Not, or 1997 I think it's an F250 or F350 I'm going to call it an F350 it's tough it doesn't have the emblems it doesn't say what it is it's an OBS 7.3 liter power stroke dude this thing is nice the 7.3 liter is a, a solid motor that Ford made it's kind of a lot of Ford fans consider it a legendary motor from Ford, from Ford and so you can feel the torque on this thing though like it is it's kind of cool it doesn't take off right away when you step on it it's just like this solid torque and the engine sounds out of this mod are amazing. It actually came from Exponables modding, which is pretty cool. So I am going to, but what's nice about it is it's kind of an off-road truck. And there's the 70s F100 or F1, F100, F150, F100. I think it's an F100, pretty sure. It might be an F150. But anyways, we have that there because I decided to take this F350. So we got to make it through the woods in like those trails it's gonna be a little rough through there but i brought this trailer so that we could load up that semi because i was like we don't have a trailer let's load up a semi semi with this uh with this truck hopefully this truck can pull it though oh uh, this is gonna be cool climbing the hills man with a 7.3 liter power stroke oh yeah i'm full throttle here you screaming too okay so i don't know the best way to go off-roading through here i think i'm gonna take a right and then we'll take Oh, okay, we got another left yet. But I got to figure out how to get down there. I went down there with that the tow truck, and it worked, it worked kind of good, but I think there's a better route down there. I'm going to try cutting through over here. Listen to that idle. That just sounds so good. Okay, so I'm going to cut through. Oh, man. Hopefully this works. We got the BF Mud Terrain tires on here. So, I mean, this should do good off-roading. Oh, gosh. Okay, we're making it through here. Now, there's going to be one big drop. Okay, this isn't too bad. We can just break down it. Slowly break down it. There we go. Nice. Smooth. Okay, perfect. We made it down here. So, I got to get that semi-truck loaded up. But it's like, do you get that, uh, the 48 Chevy semi-truck loaded up? Or do we go for the tractor? I think maybe we should at least get one thing done and just load up that semi-truck and then we'll go for the tractor. Okay, so this is probably, I don't know if this is going to work. I'm going to try it. Obviously, this thing won't move. So, I got to winch this thing up on here. <laughs> we'll see how this works. I better not lose this hook, dude. Watch it just, like, disappear into the ground. Okay, it actually sat there. We'll connect that. And then I got to maneuver this truck all the way. You know what? I should probably, yeah. Yeah, okay. So, I'm going to get this uh, heavy hauler out of the way. I would, what do I call it? Mac heavy hauler. Mac tow truck. Mac tow truck out of the way. I'm going to back the trailer all the way up it. Because obviously the Mac tow truck can't tow it. For some reason, it's having problems. So, we'll have to get around our problems and come with the trailer. Oh, there we go. I want to fold that up. Man, it's going to be tough getting out of here. Hopefully, this 7.3 can haul that semi too. Okay, here we go. Perfect. Now, there is a winch mod. And I could just stick the winch mod on here. But we're going to try using tow truck because I don't have that winch here. So, tow truck is going to be pulled 
Oh, man. Okay. Ah, this is going to be kind of... Yeah, you know what? This will work. If I could pull the tow truck just, like, right up here. And I'm going to put the rear end against the tree. Because I think this is going to pull hard and it's probably going to move the tow truck. I'm just going to go right here. The rear end just right there. Perfect. Okay, so now what I want to do is we got remain rope. Connect the remain rope here. Okay, she's ready to rock and roll. Now I got to make sure it doesn't pull it off the side though. That's the only thing. We may have to readjust. Um, let me turn this on. Okay, it's on. <laughs> Dude, okay, so it's already pulling off to the side. I just need to somehow put this up here. Let's see if I can turn the wheels. Ah, uh, it's going to want to drag it off to the side. Okay, we got to come from a different angle. I got to release some rope and we'll come. I'll move the tow truck over here. So hit X. Release some ropes. There we go. That way we can drive. And I know the like thing's going to be going through the truck. Probably fine. Okay, there we go. This should work better. I'm going to start winching. Let's see what happens. Oh, <laughs> the tow truck's kind of moving. But it's pulling too. Okay. It's working good. I think at least this is moving. The tow truck is moving a little bit too. No sure it's going to get caught up on that tree, probably. Oh, shoot. Come on. Pull. It's like pulling the 7-3, dude. We're so close. Okay, I got to stop for a sec. Yeah, it's barely pulling the truck, and it's pulling these closer. This isn't going to be good. We almost have it on there, though. We're so close. Okay, I consider that good. I'm, I'm going to leave it there. It's good. All the weight's over the axles on the truck. Okay, we are going to unhook this. This is good to go. We are done with this job. I do need that hook though. Okay, so now we got to see if we can get the tractor out. Man, this video is going to be long. I really want to get that tractor out though. Oh, shoot. We got to into the tree. Turn the lights on. Run down there. We still have to grab that hook yet. Okay, so I'm going to use this tree to prop me up just a little bit. We're going to try pulling this. Farm Sim is going to allow me to do this. In real life, the tree would definitely just completely bend over. I think this might work. Okay, there we go. So now I'm going to run. Uh, I think we still have the winch on. Okay, I'm going to shut it off. We're going to run all the way down here. Connect this. Uh, right. There we go. Okay. Let's see if this works. <laughs> okay, um, so turn it on. I'm going to get the remote out. So I got the remote out. So I should be able to winch it from down here. Let's see if we can winch this tractor up, baby. Here we go. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Come on. It's not even doing anything. Oh, my gosh. Okay, set her down. Set her down. Holy crap. I tipped my tow truck. Okay. I want to get this out, but, man, I don't think we should. I don't... We're going to put the tow truck in the water. That's just going to happen. Like, if I ha if I don't have it pinned to a tree... Like, basically what I need is I need, like, a wall of trees here. That's the only way to do it. And then the winch is probably going to snap then once we get the tow truck actually secured. This tractor weighs too much. We need something bigger. We need, like... We need a bigger wrecker, dude. We need a bigger wrecker. I think I'm going to have to call it quits for this one. I don't think we're going to be able to do her, but it was fun trying. At least we got the tow truck up. So um, I'm going to hit X to kind of give her some rope. I'm going to shut her off. I want to get this back with the 7.3, though. And it's going to be tough getting it back. I'd like to get this truck back over there. We got to haul this through the forest, through the hills. Here we go. As long as we can get one thing done today, I'm, I'm happy. So, we still haven't got one thing officially done. We haven't got it back to safe grounds yet. We got to do that. Okay, 7-3 is pulling through here. We're good. Uh, nope, we're not good. We bottomed out. Come on. We got four-wheel drive on the sucker. This is why I bought this. Come on. Go, go, go. Come on. Pull through here. <laughs> Come on, dude. Look at the wheels spinning. It like it wants to take off. She wants to sit down and go One little cheat you can do sometimes is hit Q to disconnect scooch your head a little bit and then connect it There we go. Yes. Yes. Okay. Nice solid Okay, so I gotta get down through there. I think I can do that. I'm just gonna hit this straight down We're gonna use the trailer brakes a little use the engine brake. Let's see if we can't do this. Come on It's my bottom out a little bit. Okay, slow 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 we go. The brakes. The brakes. The brakes. The brakes. Brake. 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 Nice. Okay. That. Man, I did not see that. This huge ditch here. Darn it. Oh, it's gonna back up. Okay. Okay. So I can kind of back up now. Now turn to the right. Go. There we go. Okay. 
Oh, oh, come on, Ford. That solid front axle. Built Ford tough, baby. Come on. Okay. We got her through here. Nice. Okay, we pretty much made it to the bottom ground. Wow. The Ford did it. I love this truck. The, I think the thing I love about this most is it, it looks solid. Interiors, it, it's tough. They said they had a hard time finding an interior. And art, actually, artist Jack gave them, helped them out with this interior, which is pretty cool. But it sounds amazing. That's what I love about this truck the most. It sounds so good. I mean, listen to this idle. I love that. Okay, so we're going to get her back from here. We shouldn't have any issues. It's just highways, or it's just these 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 flat roads from here. Might be a couple little hills. Other than that, we should we should be fine. Oh yeah, we're doing good hauling this. She's rolling coal too. <laughs> She's dumping coal, man. Oh yeah, she can do like 50, 50 mile an hour. We'll do fifty. We could hold fifty mile an hour probably. It's almost too fast for me. Okay, so we got a left-hand turn, and then eventually I'm going to have to deliver this to RCC. Probably not going to happen this episode, but eventually we'll get her delivered. You can see the tires are kind of flat on this truck, too. 75 mile an hour in the 7.3. Look at this baby fly. Okay, we got to hit those brakes a little bit. We made it back, man. We rescued this truck, but now we got to we got to drive all the way to Clover Creek, which is like 10-hour drive over there. We're probably not going to be able to do that today, but we got this back. I get the tanker that was on it. That's going to be the challenge to park in that tanker too. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. This is going to be the end. If you did enjoy the episode, hit that like button. If you want the 7.3, I think it's on Mod Hub too. So I'll try to link you guys to that. Uh, I don't think it's just on Expendables. I think they released it some, to some modding sites too. So thanks for watching guys. And hey, I'll see you later. Thanks guys.